the H-1Bs are really good when they move to Canada because they establish economically, they adapt really well. And usually they like Canada because it's very similar to the US. It's always been a pool of can ideal candidates. Canadian Immigration Minister Mark Miller wasn't available for an interview, but a spokesperson provided this statement. The immense interest in Canada's H-1B visa application stream is a strong indication of just how competitive Canada is on the global stage. By 2030, the number of STEM jobs in the U.S. is projected to grow by 10.5 percent to 11.3 million. But in 2019, only 14% of U.S. STEM students worked in STEM post-grad. In fact, 62% of college students that studied STEM worked in non-STEM fields. In Canada, after graduation, foreign students have an easier pathway to permanent residency, the equivalent of the U.S. green card. In Canada, most of our work permits or study permit, there is a direct facilitated pathway to permanent residence. It's fairly new. Our retention is very important because statistics show that people who studied here or worked here are the best at establishing economically and contributing. Harkunur Koshar is a tech worker who came to Canada on a student visa from India. He has since been able to gain permanent residency. I didn't want to go to a country where I feel like I would always be a foreign resident for a long time if I ended up working there. And to me, Canada felt like a much safer option. I graduated in 2021, and within a one and a half year, I already have my permanent residence. Full-time tech workers in Canada have an average salary of $94,800, while the U.S.